you know, having our own voice and culture and country on screen is so important. You know, we just, you really want to celebrate what makes us unique. You know, our nation is very diverse, but there is so much beauty and there's so much that we can share with the world. What is Burumbi Kids about? Burumbi Kids is about a friendship between an Aboriginal boy and a white Australian girl who live on country in a remote town and just the adventures they get up to. The mischief, culture, you know, country calling them, I guess. Country's calling for us. Listen. Hey guys, what you doing? Want to hang? <laughs> How did Burumbi Kids come about? Burumbi Kids is based on a children's book series by Leonie Norrington. The book, I think, was published about 20 years ago. It's been taught in our schools. Kids love it. It's about being on country and having fun on country and the adventures that we'd all get up to. So I think um, everyone was really excited about, you know, the book series and the idea. So could you also tell me a little bit about, yeah, working with the the locals and some of the locals that were involved with the series? In the uh, Peswick, Barunga area, we worked with Esther Bullenborough, who's one of the traditional owners. Frankie Lane came on as well as one of our senior cultural consultants. His niece, Ravina Lane, and Scotty Hall, her husband, were really uh, strongly across the series. So they looked at scripts, we talked to them about characters, we talked to them about family relationships, skin names, who could be in the car with who, how that impacted our stories. Um, so there's just like lots of layers of different cultural elements that came into kind of creating storylines, but also characters. Um, so, you know, we did mud maps of skin names and, you know, how, who should be uncle to who and why that relationship worked. All those different things impacted on how we told the story and they just enriched the story. So, um, you know, those relationships were so important. Hey. See this iron bark? Mm. We can use the underlayer to dress wounds. She sabi that bush medicine? Yeah, I sabi. <laughs> Me and Mavis are writing our book about bush medicine together. <laughs> Did the kind of location of where the series is set impact any aspects of the writing? You know, things such as language or totems? Definitely. So Barumba Kids is set on Jawan country. And so some of the language, we use some Jawan language. It's mainly set in English, but there are some words and totems that have come from uh, the country itself. So Tamias, one of the main characters, his totem is a firehawk. And so that plays into a lot of the storylines and stuff as well. And the other character, Dahlia, is actually white, but because she's grown up on country with people and got family connections, she's also got a totem, which is a white bike, which is a crow. And so we play on those totems as well and their adventures together. Look, that's your totem warning you. Ah, 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 ah. Look, I'm a crow. Better watch out to my eyes or I'll peck your eyes out. Ah. What kind of challenges do you feel like you had to come uh, overcome during production? You know, we work in remote areas and so that's always quite tricky just because it takes us longer to get to set and how many moves you can do in a day and stuff. I guess they're similar things that everyone faces, but we are, we're 300 k's out of Darwin and then sometimes even 400 k's out of Darwin. So if you miss anything, it's not like you can zip down the shop and get things, but I think they're the things that make the series different and unique. So, yeah, you know, it's worth it. What do you hope audiences will take away from watching the series? I think I hope audience watch Burumbi Kids and kind of just get excited about country and culture and, you know, getting out and seeing our amazing uh, landscapes and stuff, but also connecting with Aboriginal people. I think Aboriginal people want to share their culture and are really generous with their culture and stuff. And, you know, country is just so amazing and diverse across this nation. So, you know, we just need to get out and, and have some fun.